Nikos. Everybody, before we get started on this video, this is going to be another Guardians of the Galaxy video. As you guys know, I'm really excited for this game. I will be uploading content of my playthrough when the game comes out, so be ready for that. I think I'm just going to do it like exclusively for YouTube. I'll probably also stream it on Twitch, but I'll probably also do uh, my like a different content for YouTube. I'm not really sure if I'm going to blend over to Twitch streams put them on youtube yet or just like do a youtube playthrough so you guys maybe can tell me in the comments below which one would you rather just like would you rather have like a youtube exclusive run or would you be okay with seeing the twitch streams ported over let me know guys let me know what you think but yeah so this is going to introduce uh interaction between lady hellbender lady hellbender is the uh first big bad in the game technically maybe she's a supporting character throughout the whole game or she them they her i don't know her pronouns but this is going to be a pretty funny scene i've already read through it i had a good, a good, a good little laugh out of it honestly it shows a lot of character dynamics between the characters and how they interact with the world around them and how you know my sure i'll try to bring these characters to life so hopefully you enjoyed this video you find this video interesting and i'll talk to you at the end of the video let you know what i think about it and all right let's let it Spare me your empty platitude. Apologies, my queen. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Prove it. I assure you, I said, lady. Release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next up. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Hmm. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. Uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. So, again, this is another point about this game. This game is an RPG. Act well, they call it an action-adventure, but it's really an RPG. But they're basically saying it's an action-adventure game. That's because they don't want to kind of limit themselves to the leveling system of an RPG. If you played uh, any of their other games, uh, you know, the Deusac series, it's pretty, they're pretty much just RPGs. But, you know, I digress. Uh, so, this is going to be a time in a game, like multiple times in a game. Where you get to make a different choice so it looks like it's two choices every choice so that's replay value in itself but in this one i believe we're going to encourage drax like drax spit that game and let's see how much game drax actually has just 
Play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. I also briefly want to say, look at this comic accurate portrayal of the characters. From Gamora to Quill to Rocket to Drax, everyone looks so good. Even Lady Hellbender, if you go look her up, you had to give her a more modern design, but everyone looks so fantastic. And the fact that she calls him Drax, the Mad Titan's undoing, which Drax did, he was created by Thanos, and there is comic lore where Drax actually put the bangs to Thanos. So it was really interesting that they were going with this, such a heavy lore, and they're just putting it all out there. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, destroyer, what brings you to Seknarf 9? Hey there, hi, uh, I'm Star-Lord. Drax is actually with me, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy, you may have heard of us. You? No. Oh, well, let me tell you. Now you have. Lucky me. <laughs> the fact that his cards are fucking holographic kills me. But yeah, it seems like the, the theme of the game is just to, you know, from just to show you the interactions and how these characters in this world come together and they make this just universe like everyone interacts with everyone and the team dynamics is super important like i said it's over six hours of cinematics now that's a lot for a game that might only be packing 40 hours of playthrough so you it's very interesting to see how the playthrough is going to be is it going to be a lot of exploration is will it be a, a shit of side quests or are we only going to look at main quests so you know msqs for my final fantasy 14 people out there so it's very interesting to see how they can do it, but your dynamics of how you, your characters work the world, work with the environment around them, it's going to be extremely interesting to see, and hopefully we'll get more information up to launch. It's October 26th is when the game comes out, so mark that day on your calendar. Again, like I said, let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do an exclusive playthrough on YouTube or you don't mind me porting over Twitch streams and editing them. But uh, that's all I got for you today. I'm out of here, guys. You guys are awesome. If you liked the video, please uh, leave a like for the video. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So if you enjoy the content, please not forget to hit subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.